Um, moving on to some other teams as we speak. Uh, Tottenham. I'm going to go to Tottenham first. We are going to talk Chelsea. Young Allen. Young Allen. I say young. I'm being a little bit facetious. But Allen. Um, another defeat. <clears throat> another loss. Yeah. Talk to me, brother. Talk to me, brother. I'm just fed up with Spurs completely. You made a reference to um, um, Karate Kid about like uh, Mr. Miyagi. I've got one for Spurs. Literally every manager this season has been John Kreese. Literally telling Romero to sweep the leg. The amount of fouls he gives away is absolutely embarrassing. All he does is attack people's legs. He has no no self confidence. Now he's got ability, but he's got they've got to manage him better than that because he's diving in for the first goal, gives away the free kick for the second goal. Uh, Fraser four star. If it was Loris in goal, Spurs fans would be absolutely all over him. But Fraser Forster gets beat pretty much in the middle of the goal. What, I'd say the fight, like the third of the goal in the middle third, is absolutely horrendous. We were offside so many times. Uh, Son, even though he was offside, he literally had so much of a head start. He still couldn't finish anything. An absolutely awful performance. Um, the back line's a mess. Again, literally, this is what you get when you don't put a manager in who is going to be able to build a team or like prep a team. And why we've gone from um, Conte to, to Stellini to Ryan Mason is an absolute joke. Managers turning away from us. We're, like, it's, we're an absolute mess at this moment in time. Um, again, a two-man midfield that any Premier League team could walk through. It's just, I don't understand what has gone wrong so so much this season for this club. It's just literally, it's just a pile of, Pile of shit. It really, it really is. I've, I've, I've had enough of every single one of them. Um, Harry Kane. We well, we got a consolation in a penalty, but for me, it looked like it was offside. We got that, but um, yeah. Apart from that, even he didn't do much today. It's just awful, awful performance, time after time. Um, and there's no oh, change. In it. And how we, exactly, and how we can have a board sit there and not to put things in place to rectify that straight away. I've just had enough. It it really is. And for me, like I was saying, with the right manager in, add two quality additions, world-class additions to this squad, and you could be much further on than what we were last season, like third and all that. And then so far this season, literally everything has just gone worse. Probably you need about a full re- a full squad. That's what we need at the moment because this team just absolutely shocking. And then you've got somebody who's ill-equipped to manage putting uh, the position as well. And yeah, you can smile all your love on. I, I, nah, I you did, know what? I did tell you all. You know what I'm saying? I did. I, <laughs> I was laughing at no, Terry. No, I wasn't Terry, laughing Terry, at you. Before you go into that, Terry, what, what are you sipping on, bro? I was doing, a, I, I, I was doing an old school rave dance from back in my day. You know what I'm saying? It's called the bowl ball. But there we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but what are you sipping in that glass? What are you sipping in there? What's in there? Pepsi Max, baby. Pepsi Max, baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm drinking online. That, that, that is all I'm drinking online. That's all I'm drinking. <laughs> His brother. Oh, oh my days. You know what I mean? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. It's Saturday. It's the first Saturday. Honestly, this is not to make anyone feel sad. It's the first Saturday in six months where I know for a fact I don't have stomach cancer. So I'm very happy. And I'm having oh, a little drink of booze. Do you know what I mean? Up, I, was, I was ill for a while. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but thankfully, the beard didn't go grey. I've been growing it out to check how grey it's gone. Anyway, uh, young <laughs> Daniel Tottenham, talk to us, bruv. Cheer us up. Mate, um, I hope I cheer you up because I am absolutely livid at this football club. I've had enough. We're just a mess. Um, I My expectations were on the floor. Um, and they still let me down. So I don't know where we can go from this place. Uh, we we're more we we're more toothless in that first half than a fetal pig. It's dis- mm. It's disgusting. Um, it looks like Fraser Forster was trying out for the London volleyball team the way that he was slapping that ball into his own net from that free kick. We're an absolute mess of a football club. It ain't on the managers. I know Ryan Mason is crap. I know he is. But any manager in world football comes into this football club and he can't solve these problems. Uh, Antonio Conte said it best. Uh, no matter what manager comes into this football club, they will fail. Um, this football club is not set up for a manager to come up and succeed. Not one. Not one manager. Not even Sir Isaac Ferguson can come back from his from retirement and do anything at this football club. It's impossible. No manager can do any bits in this football club. We're a mess. We're an absolute mess. We're drossly run. Absolutely drossly run. We've got no... We've got, we had zero shots in that first half. Zero shots in that first half. But Tottenham fans are telling me Ryan Mason in. Ryan Mason in. Are you taking a piss? Ryan Mason in. The guy has one win in four games. One win in four games. And that was against Crystal Palace. And that was one of the most boring games I've ever seen in my life. But because he came from our academy and used to play for Tottenham, Ryan Mason in. 
Ryan Mason Ames. Stellini had a better record than him, and he got slapped six one by Newcastle. We're a mess of a football club, absolute mess of a football club. They just continuously give me hope. Son, Son scored that that. Son was more offside than he was onside. Son was offside more today than he actually has assists this season. It's a mess, absolute mess. They gave me hope at the end with the Son goal. Of course, he's offside because that's just what he does. I am done with this football club. My expectations just keep going lower and lower and lower and lower. The season's done. Honestly, I would be, I wouldn't be surprised if we miss out on Conference League football. <clears throat> It was what it wasn't that there was another stat one touch in Aston Villa's box, one touch in their box in the first 60 minutes. That's how bad it was. One touch in that box. RXG was zero. RXG was zero. RXG was actually zero. Honestly, I had the game on and it was really hard to focus on the Chelsea and the Spurs games in here because obviously I was watching Man United and and our game was very close at 1 0. But I couldn't believe maybe I could, but I couldn't believe how bad you were again today and the fact that doesn't seem to be your club doesn't seem to be any closer to sorting out its director of football situation no closer to a new manager you've got the harry kane situation no. pending it is beyond spursy and we're joined Dude, by mix- no, to we, no mate the fact that but i don't believe you said no to nanglesman i believe mate, i believe i, that, I, don't believe, it I believe it i believe it's tottenham pr yeah. Yeah. It's like me. I, I turned down Beyonce. I yeah, that's turned what I'm down Beyonce. It's like Pete Davis and down. Down. I'll let you all know. Her and Maya Jamma and Rihanna, I said no to all three of them. Do you know what I'm saying? That, that is that is the equivalence of you guys saying no to Julian Nagelsmann. It is a madness. You ain't getting better than him. There is no manager in the world that you can sign, in my opinion, that's better than him. I, I don't know what you guys are on, but we're joined by Mr. Box Office himself. Alex is here. What are you saying, brother? Day 48 of the worst kept secret in football. Tottenham Hotspur haven't got a manager. And I told you. I told man. I told man. man. Um, listen, I'm, I'm like everybody right now. I know a guy, big up to this guy called Kuva. He says, toys, 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 turn off you spurs. I only was here because I've got nothing yet better to do, to be honest with you. No, not on, on this show, watching Tottenham. Because I knew what I was going to get. I knew what I was going to get. I mean, I, I was sitting there. I went on another stream. I, I said, I sat there and said, have a cup of tea. Because what, what are you expecting? What were you expecting? Yeah. I've got people tapping out of debates with me last year. And people know who that, who that was. Who that was. Because they said, oh, we were tamed so well last year. I said, we're bang average last year, bruv. I said, we're bang average last year. Yeah. Right, and we said, well, I said, we're Harry Kane FC. I said, we've got two rejects in the building, Kuliczewski and Bentacore. Yeah, who's a standard midfielder for us? Yeah, a standard midfielder for us, top six club. We've gone over the top about Emerson, who was terrible last season. Now he's good, a good player, good player. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was telling man, yeah, that this t- this club is an absolute mess. Yeah, and I'll tell you this for a fact. If you put Mason in charge, I've said it on my channel, Mr. Box Office TV, if you really want to know. If you don't know, get to know, yeah? Uh, okay, if, if, if you put Mason in charge of this club, yeah, and without Harry Kane, who's a loser, by the way, I still stick by what I said every single time, yeah? He makes our club look a top four club all day long, yes, yeah, but he hasn't won no trophies. And that's a stat that makes more difference than XG that makes no difference in my life. I tell you that for every single time that people play FIFA who likes the stats, by the way, yeah? If Harry Kane goes, we are a relegation battle team next season. 110%. And that's Mr. Box Office talking the truth again. Back to you, Terry, to say something nonsense again. I'm done. <laughs> what do you mean? Say something nonsense. You, you, ain't get, you, really think, you really think next season, if Harry Kane leaves... Your relegation candidates for real, Bob. He's he's Bob. I, I've been to nearly every single Tottenham game. I can't. I don't go anymore because I'm wasting my money now. Yeah, I don't even need stats to tell me this. Harry Kane has kept us afloat, literally. Right? It's like a date. Yeah, the date is already gone already, Bob. Yeah, without Harry Kane. Yeah. Okay. we uh, if you it's a boat. Harry Kane's keeping us afloat, honestly, because he creates for us and and, and scores goals for us, and that's it. Songs only just turned up because Mason's just come in and Conte left. You know what I mean? I wanted Conte gone. Yes, I did. Because he was never going to work at Tottenham Hotspur because we were never going to back him. Yeah, I, it, it, you can see it a long way along that we were never going to back him. 
Yeah, but the fact is, is that he was all he was spot on with everything he said about this club. Everything he said was spot on. I'm sorry. Yeah. And Can I do that quick it? challenge it, on that, like, no. in regards to Spurs? I mean, I understand Kulzeski's not been good this season. That's absolutely fine. I understand that. Son's been off of it, this, that, and the other. But Alex, when we spoke at the stadium uh, in the Champions League game, you admitted to me you were wrong about Bentancourt because he was absolutely sensational. Before, like a new, like most Spurs fans are saying, back he's our player of the season before he's ACL. So he's one of the better players. I think you're doing him a bit of disservice because he's out injured. He can't do anything on the pitch. But you admitted that you got it wrong with him earlier on in the season to me. Like face to face, you said that he was a classy player. So I think you're being a bit disingenuous. That's just me being honest. Um, I agree with most everything else you're saying, though, in regards to everything else with Spurs at the moment. Um, like I said, how have we got it so wrong in the season is beyond me. But I think you've got the Benton Core situation there wrong. I, I listen. I, 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 could I just say something just before somebody comes in? This is I, I, I get you. I get you, uh, Alan. I'm sorry. I, listen. Yeah, I gave it to him. Yeah, he, he was. He was. He was. He was doing okay. He was doing good. But I still sit by what I said. Like, I, I, I'm sorry, the, the, there's no partnerships in our team. You were complaining about Romero. Romero, uh, with Dyer, doesn't work. Lenley is a oh, Barcelona Lenley. reject. Mm. Barcelona reject, bruv. Yeah? Dyer, with him, yeah. with a John Terry next to him, uh, Rio Fernandez next to him, he ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. in, the partnerships in our team is nowhere. Yeah, no, no, it needs to complete that, and but... utter rebuild. Another okay. build and that's it. And I don't know who we're going to bring in because we're Terry's absolutely build, right. Absolutely spot on. I don't agree with him most of the time, but who would ever want to risk their reputation to come and top them? And well, that's man, it. Why, what, do, what do you tell that? What do you, sorry, sorry. Let me ask him, Alan, 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 I want to ask a question. What do you tell Spurs fans that say that actually it's better for Spurs to let Harry Kane go, get the money and rebuild from there. No, I've, they, I've heard not. this in the last two weeks no, more, many times. Well, because they don't know. They're probably new to Tottenham, but they don't know how we run. We sold Gareth Bale. Who did we buy? We're just going to go and buy a bunch of farm. And if, yeah, if we had somebody that would come in and buy the right players with that Harry Kane money to rebuild, I'd actually start, I'd maybe even agree Danny, with Danny, when you sold Gareth you know, Bale, you had the best period over the past five, six You know what it is? Who did you know we what buy with that money, though? When we sold Luka Modric, who did we buy the, with that money? You had you the best period we, we at that place, time. Then. We replaced Gareth Bale with Gareth Bale. We don't have a good recru recruitment team. We ain't going to replace him with absolutely no one. What we're going to do is we're going to buy a bunch of Spanish wingers from the second division of La Liga, <laughs> and then we're going to go out and, and say, they're the next Messi. Oh, they're the next Messi. They're the re revolution of the sport. We're a joke club. We ain't going to rebuild. We ain't going to rebuild. We ain't going to back a manager. But it, you don't gonna... think relying on Harry Kane is what makes you stagnant a little bit lately? Uh, oh, we've got a player that scores goals and gets his assist. No, I, I'm just... I, I heard this opinion late. I'm sure you guys are not... This is not new to you, right? You've heard yeah, yeah, yeah. some heard of the Spurs, Spurs fans are saying that it's better for Spurs now to start over without Harry Kane. You know, uh, you know what it is. You know, for, that's okay. You know, you know what, what it is. In a relegation race. You know, you know what it is. Um, this, yeah, the situation that Tottenham are in is similar to the is similar to the situation that United have been for a while. When you sell your soul and make a deal with a devil in the uh, Jose Mourinho's and Antonio Conte's. When it doesn't work, it goes ca catastrophically wrong. And then you end up getting left in no man's land with what do you do? You have an aging group of players and you have to start the process again. And where do you go from here? Do you sell all the players that you have or do you go on a year on year basis, try making the old players work? And for the most part, the old players don't work. So it's a bit of a sticky one. I hear you. I feel for you. But it's funny to watch as a, as a rival, though. I just want to say though, something because Dan, Dan and Alan, yeah, like I get, I get, I get, you're frustrated because no one wants to see their team in in the situation that you're in. But at the same time, Spurs have been hiding behind top four for a while. It's quite similar to Chelsea. Like your your situation right now is so similar to us because hmm. everyone's been seeing us still winning trophies and winning Champions League and and thinking everything's all rosy, right? But that's just papered over the cracks. And top four for you guys is definitely papered over the cracks, right? Now, I feel like everyone can kind of see in the open the problems that Spurs have had over the years that a lot of the Spurs fans have been speaking about. But of course, as, as rivals, you're just going to ignore it, right? Because you haven't got that emotional attachment. But now, the main thing is, it is in the open. So surely, surely Levy has to fix up and do something to create a whole new culture or something. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> saying he will. I'm not saying he will. I'm not saying he will. But I'm saying that this season, right? The same way for us. This season was a season of, of showing up a lot of the dross that we've got here. Players that shouldn't be here anymore. The, the whole situation with the structure, the poor recruitment. It's the same thing as Tottenham. It's now come to, it's come alight. 
it's, it's out in the open now. So surely that will that will bring some sort of change. If you don't, if if that doesn't bring any sort of change, then I'm, I don't know. There's just no hope for Tottenham. Surely, surely. Honest, you, some, you, you know the hope. change that's going to be coming to the club. I just got an email from Tottenham Hotspur that there's five percent off the club shop. So that's the change that we're going to get. That's the movement that Daniel Levy is making. Uh, hey! then, can I ask you something then? Because uh, I, I know you guys had your um. What was that guy that who's a crook that um that had the Juventus allegation? Paratici. Paratici, yeah. He was like the, the director of football, something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and he's gone now. So as far as I remember, you're 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 recruiting and you're your director of football and the whole team itself, it's it's not the same that was there when you guys sold Gareth Bale and you went for that overhaul and said all these players. I don't think they're the same. I would be surprised if they're the same because it's been like how many years? Six, seven years, maybe more than that. Uh, um, ten. Here's okay, the thing, it's been though. Quite a, it's been quite a while, can I can I can I can I just risk this whole just, thing about just one second, one second, because I, I didn't get anywhere with my point. I just want to yeah, get go my on, point. Go you can go, go ahead, bro. Uh, what Don said and what Mo said, I think, is the correct thing. But you saying it won't happen? I mean, that's not really anyone's fault, other than who runs the club. The idea is still right because the right idea is to get rid of the agent players to sell Kane while he he still holds good enough value for you to use that money and overhaul this team because the longer it goes Kane ages and he doesn't win trophies the value drops your best chance to sell Kane probably your last best chance to sell Kane is this summer coming up because you know that Manchester United are going in for him and they desperately need a striker how you use that money after it it doesn't make the idea of selling these aging players wrong it just makes the idea of sorry not the idea the usage and whoever is running that club wrong. So I, you can't really slate the people that are saying you're supposed to do that because the, the idea, as I said, if you're hungry and I give you money and you go spend it on booze, I mean, not that you're old enough to buy it anyways, but if you go spend it on alcohol, that's your fault. That's not my fault. You told me yeah. I'm hungry. I gave you the tool to go buy money and you misspend it. Yeah. Selling Kane and selling these aging players to overhaul this team and to regenerate the blood in this team is the right idea. But Will you actually do that? That's no. the thing that we'll get. That's not my opinion, stuff. I actually That's, think yeah, Harry Kane is just, absolutely elite. What are you talking? It's not my opinion. I'm just repeating what half the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the but do you agree it's that he my, should stay? I actually think Harry Kane is a fantastic asset and a great player. But, but should he stay? Yeah, I think I think oh, he I should think, stay. They, they can't get better say, than him for his they sake. For his sake, he should go. For his I wanted state, to just say I, I just wanted to say something because he just he just he just triggered okay. me with just saying about the prodigy who's who's not cooking by the way not cooking at all by Did the way because he was he was absolutely useless absolutely useless yeah I'm, I'm glad Sava was on here because Sava would have told you about prodigy because I was telling you about a, a, a long time ago after he tried to get Tukuso in by the way yeah and I was always right. This is why people need to respect Mr. Box Office, yeah? Because I was telling you about this guy all day long. He's useless. He was useless at Juventus as well. And, and Rota made him look good. And that's it. I'm sorry, yeah? John, um, what is it? Paul Mitchell is 10 of him. He's 10 of him all day long. If I could have him back at Tottenham Hotspur, I'll have him back tomorrow. And that's it. Back to you, Terry. I'm done. So he won't come back because... I mean, I mean personally, you, yeah. you would love two things. I know you would love two things back at Tottenham. You would love... Mitchell back, and you would love your ex uh, Poch back, because man like Alex has been on the football terrace for three or four years now, and all he has done is pine for, whine for, cry for, moan for Pochettino and Mitchell to come back home. That's that's what we know.